don't buy an oceanfront condo before you listen to this video. If you stay tuned until the very end of this video, I'm gonna tell you a secret piece of information comparing North Myrtle Beach to Myrtle Beach that you simply don't wanna miss when you're considering buying an oceanfront condo. Let's get after it right now. Off-site property management companies present their management fees in ways that seem cheaper, but in actuality cost you more money. For example, they're gonna tell you it's 15 to 18% or 20% to use their off-site property management. But on the back end of your deal, you're gonna find out that your, your property is netting $10,000 less on average compared to other oceanfront condos in your condominium. They're gonna justify this by saying that you had to pay certain fees. You have two different tax rates in the state of South Carolina. You have a 4% tax rate for residents and a 6% tax rate for non-residents. Now, when your property is purchased that you're investing in here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, North Myrtle Beach, wherever you are in our market, the new purchase price, if it is higher than the old purchase price, there is most likely going to be an increase in your tax rate. So while we can supply you money showing you the 2020 taxes or the most recent year's taxes, we don't know one, if the person was a non-resident or if they were a resident, and two, we can look and see what they paid for the property and give you a good idea of whether or not, yes, your taxes are going to increase because, hey, they purchased it for 295, but you're paying 378 for it. Your taxes are most likely going to go up. All right, a smart purchase strategy. A solid and professional agent is going to look up in the courthouse retrieval system what the seller paid for the property. Then they're going to factor in any remodel cost and they're gonna present this information to you so that as a buyer, you can be informed and not pay more than what the person has in the property. Another smart purchase strategy. Now, another thing you can do is narrow down your list of oceanfront condos, have your realtor contact all the people on your list, contact those agents and throw out a low offer. Let's say $50,000 on the asking price or whatever it is, a much lower offer and see where one sticks. And then from there, work out your purchase strategy on what you'd like to buy. Now, one way to compare oceanfront condo purchases is to consider how many people the unit sleeps. If on average $150,000 unit sleeps two people, then you would think that a, a unit that sleeps four people should be around $300,000. And a unit that sleeps around six people should be around $450,000, and so on and so on. So one way to find out if the unit that you're considering purchasing could be overpriced is to use that basic simple metric. Now, one of the reasons why you wanna do that is because this is a driver for your rental income business. How many people a unit sleeps is, gonna, is what your tenants are thinking about when they're booking units online. They wanna know if I can fit a family of six or eight people or 10 people into this unit. So it's a direct driver that will translate into dollars for your business. For example, if you're looking at two comparable units and both of them sleep six people, you wouldn't wanna pay 525 for a unit that's generally worth 450 in that same location because they're gonna bring in roughly the same average or general amount of rental income. All right guys, so larger properties like four plus bedroom units do have a harder time renting during the off season. On-site property managers generally have special programs in place to attract the large groups of golfers per se to rent your unit during those off-season months as compared with off-site property managers that might not have those special programs. When you have a larger unit, a four plus bedroom unit, you can also do things like remodel to increase gross rental income. You know, you could do light remodel like just flooring and paint, maybe put a backsplash in um, and that should increase your gross rental income. Other things to consider maybe convert that fourth bedroom into a game room. You wanna do things to give your unit a competitive market advantage 
so that while people are online looking at rental units to book, they're going, oh wow, there's a 70 inch TV in that room with an Xbox and a you know Switch or, or whatnot. Uh, it's also got a pool table. This is gonna be a perfect place to spend my rental dollars. Oh, there's a telescope out on the balcony, great. We can watch the stars as we drink our wine. You want your renters thinking things like that and converting a fourth bedroom, adding a telescope or doing a remodel is a simple way to accomplish that. Something else to consider is that smaller properties like the two to three bedroom properties, they are easier to rent. Uh, we feel like there is a larger, uh, a larger pool of tenants that are looking for those units. However, because there are so many that can drive the prices of your rentals down. So that's something to consider when you're, when you're looking at buying a four plus bedroom unit or buying a two to three bedroom unit, you have a lot more competition in those smaller units, which keeps prices lower. All right, guys, you waited until the very end. Here's that tidbit secret for you. In North Myrtle Beach, purchase prices do tend to be higher, but rental incomes tend to be better. Now, if you found the information helpful in this video, please hit that like button, that subscribe button, share it on your social media with friends and family, and please check out any of the other videos that are popping up on your screen right now for helpful and useful information about the Myrtle Beach market.